Good morning, Frankfurt. It's Friday. Finish your first week back strong with some HDTV. Right now. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. My name is Nick Kinder. And I'm Richard Butcher. For lunch today, on lines one and two, we'll be having taco scoops. Line three will be soup and salad bar featuring California blend. Line four will be pull apart pizza. And line five will be closed today. A happy birthday goes out to Logan Wills. Now here's Liz with the sports. Thanks, Nick. There's a lot to report on today, so let's get to it. In last night's baseball action, the boys defeated Clinton Prairie 6-3. Braden Compton pitched over three innings. Jose Valdez Sandoval picked up his second save of the season, and Christian Lopez led the offense with four hits and four RBIs. The boys now move on to 2-0 in the season. The girls' softball team defeated Crawfordsville last night, 14 to 13. The dogs tallied 14 hits with Avery Drew, 5 for 5, Sydney Whitaker, 3 for 5, Chloe Roberts, 2 for 4, and Morgan Dean, Kareem Quinones, and Tara Martinez, all 1 for 3. Michaela Harper started the game pitching three innings, allowing nine runs on eight hits and one strikeout. Avery Drew recorded the win for the dogs, pitching four innings and allowing four runs on four hits. The dogs are back in action on Tuesday at home against conference opponent Danville. Well, the track team competed well in tough weather conditions against a strong opponent. Despite the conditions, quite a few personal records were set by our athletes. First place winners include Nayeli Alanis in the 100 and 300 meter hurdles, Hugo Hernandez in the 3200, Zeke Van Avener in the shot put, and Kyle Earl in the discus. Their next meet is home on Tuesday versus Northmont and Tri-West. That's it for sports, now back to Nick and Richard. It's that time of the year again. The sixth annual Strides for Stacy 5K Color Run will be taking place on May 18th at nine in the morning. If you just want to participate, the price of admission will be $10. If you want a Strides for Stacy shirt as well, the price will be pushed up to $20. And if any adult wants to run and purchase a shirt, the price will be $30. All proceeds will be going to the Stacy Ball Legacy Scholarship. For more information, you can ask Mrs. Fortner, one of the many National Honor Society members, including myself, or go to the Strides for Stacy Facebook page, where both students and the community are highly encouraged to follow. Make sure to spread the word, sign up, and keep Stacy Ball's legacy ongoing. The deadline to sign up is May 1st. Congratulations to all participants in this year's Psi Iota Xi Clinton County Art Show. Frankfurt High School students received 44 of 49 awards. A special congratulations goes out to Haley Wills, Alma Garcia Chavez, and Odalis Campos, who received first, second, and third place Best of Show honors, respectively. The opening reception will be taking place in the upper level of the Frankfurt Public Library this Monday, April 8th, from 6.30 to 7 p.m. Have you failed a class at the high school? If so, you should be attending early summer school each day from 3 to 6 p.m. Early summer school started Monday and will go through April 29th. If you have questions, see your counselor. Today is the last day to be able to purchase prom tickets for $20. On Monday, the price will go up to $25. Signed permission slips are required to be able to purchase prom tickets, so plan ahead. And that's all for today. Check back next week for more news. Make sure to like and subscribe, and enjoy your weekend. I didn't scoop the name. <laughs> no! Oh God. No, no, no.